What's up? This is John from John Brands for Photography and I'm extra hyped because HoneyBook just released the beta of its new brochures. So this beta is only going out to a select few, but I wanted to go ahead and show you all what they were working on because it's just so, so good. Since it's a beta, keep in mind it's not a final product, may be a little buggy, and what we're seeing here may end up changing in the long run. Also, if you haven't signed up for HoneyBook yet, thinking about it, or need a client management system for 2019, don't forget to use the link in the description for 50% off of your first year. But let's go ahead and check out this brochure. So to make and edit a new brochure, just head up to Tools, Templates, and then once you're there, Brochure. So what we're seeing currently is the old school brochure. It was very limited. There wasn't a lot of editing you could do. Pretty straightforward. Basically, you could put in your packages, you can put in your prices, you would share that, with a new inquiry and basically they could choose what they wanted. Very straightforward, but there wasn't a lot of editing in it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the new brochure. So on the left here, I go to my templates, I can make a new template. And ooh, what is this? So they kind of changed everything and it's more of a content area where you can add photos and text and then you also have a different area where you can add your services, which is more like the old brochure. You have sections, so you can make different sections for different types of services or even for your different photos. So let's go ahead and add a couple just to, just to have an idea of what it looks like. So let's say at the top here, I wanted a cover image. So I choose my image. I think I uploaded a bunch recently, yes. <laughs> so this was me trying it out, seeing how it worked. It's really cool. Um, so let's say I'm doing a pricing guide. So I made a little cover here. I choose the crop and I can save that. So that's just straight up a photo. So anyone else who has like PDFs right now that they got designed and you have like different PDF pages, this would be perfect for you because you could just go in, keep choosing image like that and just upload every image and have one long little brochure that you can send out right through HoneyBook rather than having to attach an extra PDF. So here this is, and I can go ahead and add another block. And yet again, I get the same option. So I can do content, I can do services, whichever I want it to. Yet again, like I was saying, if you have a PDF pre-made already and you have each page separate like as JPEGs, you could just go to cover image again, choose your image. And then, you know, if you had the price, so let's say I had this little pricing page, get the crop. Then I have this nice looking, look at, just look at it. Custom made brochure instead of like the old school style. So if you did want something kind of like the old school style, what you could do is basically, let's get rid of this section and let's title this the banner. So I could add a new section and call this like package one. And I could do a cover image again. But this time we'll use more like a, why did it change? <laughs> we'll do like a banner image. Kind of like this. Make sure my crop's right. So here we are, package one, then I could add a section, but do services. Now, like I said, services is more gonna be like the old school way of doing it. So I can pick my item. If I have templates for that stuff already, it'll just load in. So I could find my package one, and it would load in there and they could see all that information. So this was made earlier in a different template. And yet again, it's more like the old brochure. So you can do that and you can also do the new stuff and it just gives you so many, so many options. Like check this out. I'll say I made another section, right? And called it uh, so many things. <laughs> uh, we could put in two images. So these images do have to be, they can't be portrait. I tried it out earlier and the crop wouldn't go the full way. Oh, 
here goes our bugginess. Okay, well, let me go to the one where I tried it out already. If I remember. Here we go. So for the large images, it'll let you do portrait. But for these, and this is the two column photos, it won't let you do portrait currently, because yet again, this is still a beta. So I did two pictures. So that was the two image column. Like this. And then under it, I did the two text column. So you could set up your own pricing thing that way too. So if you don't have someone who already designed like a PDF page for you or something, you can do this and do it yourself. And then say, here's an image, here's an image, here's some text for that image. And then here is a pricing package. And then just send it off that way to your clients. It's so good. So, so good. So that was a quick look at the new brochures. Yet again, this is a brand spanking new beta, so they may add some more stuff later. If you are interested in it or have any other questions, let me know and I'll try and get any more answers to you on what you can do with it. But that's the gist of it. It is so, so good to be able to edit your brochures and actually have like planning guides and engagement, what to wears, and just so many other things that you can do. So I'm extra excited about it. But if you like that information, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and don't forget about that 50% off of your first year honey book. And I'll see y'all next time. All right, peace.